Hello everyone, welcome back to Play Nintendo World. And now we're gonna go to World 6, uh, Super Mario 3D Land. And we're just gonna try to um, rescue Princess Peach this week. <laughs> um, so let's get started with the video. <laughs> Look at Mario being so happy, so proud of Princess Peach protecting herself. All right, um, let's go to um, World Six Dash One, the beach yeah. stage, and this is one of my favorite stages uh, in Super Mario 3D Land. And it should be something right here. Yes, another star medallion. And by the way, guys, how are you enjoying Super Mario? Actually, it doesn't call it Super Mario. It's called Mario Strikers Battle League. It, that game is so much fun. I'm gonna do a review of it. Um, let's see. Um, once I finish the game. And hopefully, um, I'll finish the game pretty soon. Oops! I didn't mean to do that! I meant to, well, I meant to do a long jump, though, but not... Oh, man. Let me go get the Star Medallion first. And then just uh, head on over and get another power-up. Because I'm not taking out this Snooki suit right now. And so I won't um, lose it. Because when I make it to the flagpole... I want to um, be all powered up and um, well, be careful here and then make a mistake again because I want to um, be able to reach the flagpole and I won't have to come back to this stage. Whoa! Oh shoot! Whoa! What was that? Oh come on! I never stuck at Mario games before, honestly guys. Even though I did die in World 1-1 so early, I just... I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> but um, anyways, like I was saying, if you guys enjoy Super Mario, um, Mario Strikers Battle League, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you like about the game. And um, personally, I call it uh, Science Strikers Battle Leaguers. <laughs> it's just a little joke I have because, um, you know, I'm a big fan of Sonic. And um, I just want to uh, call it... Um, you know, like I said, mentioned before, I just call everything Sonic now. You know, I just pretend everything is Sonic the Hedgehog. And, you know, I just want to have fun, you know? You know, for some reason, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog just make everything better for me. And speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm not really worried about Sonic Frontiers because, personally, I think that game looked awesome. It just had a little pop-ins. You know, like other system have. I mean, I know it's supposed to be next gen, uh, next gen Sonic game, but guys, I don't really think that it's gonna suck. Like, I think it's just like an early demo that Sonic Frontiers has. Um, the, the developers gave them, and that Sonic Frontiers will be, um, well. The actual Sonic Frontiers demo will be, um, or the actual game of Sonic Frontiers will be good. Instead of the, um, because, you know, demos are just, like, for testing, you know? I don't think it's, like, a, the actual thing. There's supposed to be something in here. Oh, there we go. Come on, give me a good power-up. Oh, mushrooms? Shoot, that sucks. Anyway, like I was saying, Sonic Frontiers, um, the demo is just, uh, of course, it's just a demo, you know? A demo doesn't make the full game, even though it's just part of the game, though, but, uh, they can fix the bugs and, um, everything else they have can fix, um, later, like, why they're, um, you know, like, like all other game developers usually do, when they find bugs and, um, other crap inside their game, like that's making the game to go um, be glitchy and uh, look terrible. So, anyways, like I was saying, I think Sonic Frontiers will be okay. Like, 
you know, I don't see any uh, problem with Sonic Frontiers, to be honest. Except that the um, pop-ins. And, um... Oh, well, in the way Sonic looked when he was grinding on the rails, when he switched back and forth between rails. Yeah, I do have a little problem with that. Because it doesn't... It just doesn't look like, um... The animation doesn't look smooth. Like, it's like actually, um... Move away off the rails. You know, it like... You no, know, it's kind of hard to explain. You have to see the um, gameplay footage to understand. Cause it's it's like Sonic not actually moving away from the rails. Like it just looked weird, to be honest. And I hope they fix it. Cause when Sonic moved from rail to rail, he um, I don't know how to put it. It's just it's like it has no um, left or right animation or something. I mean, it does have a uh, left animation. That's all it has. It looks like. I don't know. I don't, when I play a Sonic game, I'll explain to you guys, like, what I'm talking about. Because you have to see it um, and see for yourself in order to know what I'm talking about. I'm not a video game professional, or I, I mean, like a maker, like people that make video games, like a developer or something. But, um, I do play video games a lot, and I know when the game is gonna suck or not. Okay, I have to wait for that. No, 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 no! Oh, shoot! I tried to do a long jump. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, it'll put me right here anyway, and I can find another power up soon. Man. It's not gonna be a power up right here. So the last star coin is over here. And Mario jump sucks in this game. Except for his long long jumps. I like 3D worlds jump better. And what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, 3D uh the Sonic game. Anyways guys, I wouldn't worry about the Sonic game that much. Unless they totally don't do anything about it. Will they give me another power up? Uh, no, they w they didn't give me another one. Oh, what the heck! Alright, that's cheating. Okay, I'm trying to concentrate on this part because, um, come on, get it! Oh, Mario, you're so slow! Way up here. Ah! Okay, that's still good. Because I thought I wasn't gonna make it at first, but I forgot I can do the long jump and I'll be fine. You know, um, like I was saying, the Sonic Frontiers doesn't look that bad, guys, at all. It's just that, uh, graphically, it doesn't look that bad. And I love the, um, the shade of color Sonic is in right now because I think that's his true blue self. But when they used the other blue for uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, it doesn't look right. Like in Sonic Forces, for example. That um, Sonic the Hedgehog just looked creepy. Like, not creepy, like disfigured. The color looks disfigured, like Sonic had a sick day or something. I'm not bad mouthing the uh, developers or uh, Sonic uh, forces at all. I mean, it does sound like that though, but I'm not trying to put them down or anything for the way Sonic looked in Sonic forces. But it's just that, you know, like the game doesn't look right. You know, the Sonic didn't look right in Sonic forces, except that Sunset City stage when the shade of blue did look right. You know, like. Um, I forgot what the music sound like that. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Something like that. But um You know you know Sunset City or Sunset Heights, I think that's what it's called. Um You know, I think that one and 
Let's see, the outer space stage from Sonic Forces look right. I could be wrong. I, I don't remember the space stage. Uh, the space stage from the Egg Fleet stage, or the Egg, uh, not the Egg Fleet, the Death Egg stage. Um, I think that Sonic. Uh, I think that one looked right when you go inside the Death Egg, but uh, everything else doesn't look right. You know, it just look like they don't know what color Sonic is supposed to be in anymore. You know, like, Sega's supposed to be the expert of Sonic games, but here fans are making fan made games that people actually wanted in the first place. And it's like, I'm not saying, I'm gonna say it's embarrassing though, but actually, it is embarrassing. Like, having a fan do the job for you, I mean, I'm not bad mouthing them at all, guys. Like, or talking smack to them. I just wish Sega would um, listen to their fans and make a good Sonic game. I mean, I'm glad that one of the developers, I forgot his name, he said he wanted to make a, um, a Sonic Adventure 3. And I think that's pretty cool because that was everybody asking for it in the first place. A, a, Sonic, a third Sonic Adventure. And um, I think that's cool. Okay, there we go. We got another fl uh, golden flagpole. We won't have to come back as Luigi and complete this. So that's good. And I think I'm missing a golden flagpole in a different stage, though. But we'll come back and do that later. On my Well, I'm going to do it on my own time. You, you guys won't be able to see that. Because you guys know how to get the golden flagpole. And, you know. I mean, it's not like you guys are following along anyway. But, um, you know, I'm just saying that the golden uh, flag poses you guys already know how to get, so, end of that discussion. <laughs> Anyways, um, back, back to what I was saying, uh, like what I was saying about Sonic, um, Sonic Adventure 2, or was it Sonic Adventure, yeah, Sonic Adventure 3, I'm sorry guys, my mind just everywhere right now. Anyways, um, Sonic Adventure 3, um, while well, the developer said they want to make it, and I think that's cool that they're uh, finally listening to fans. But don't make it like Forces, just make it like the other Sonic Adventure games. All right, this son of a pickle want to um, get on my nerves right here. All right, let's jump on top of this guy. Let's jump again, and let's get this gold star medallion looking thing. Or Comet Metal, or whatever you want to call it, or Star Coin. Let's just call it that. Okay, let him jump. Whoa! Okay, I'll just have to wait. Wait, hold up. Don't go to the door! Shoot! Let's see if I can go back. Oh, yeah, I can. I was worried for nothing. Okay, there we go. Thought I wasn't going to be able to get that, but here, there goes my Mario skills. No, not like there goes uh, I'm uh, messed up or something like that, but like you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'm glad Sega is finally listening to the fans and trying to bring out Sonic Adventure 2. That probably won't be till like 2025 or something or however long the game takes to make. You know, I think a game takes four years or so to be made or something. Especially if you have a big team. Because I was in animation class, uh, believe it or not, guys, um, back in my high school days. And the animation took so long. Well, if you work on it by yourself. Because I made a Mario animation. Uh, comment down below if you want to see that animation. But uh, it's not that great. At first, it was going to be great, but um, I forgot how to do the um, key framing and stuff. Actually, actually no. I know how to um, do the frames, though, but um, I did on the 3DS Flip No Studios. And it started to look good. You know, I was taking my time, but 
my 3DS was sold. I don't want to say who sold it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so I had to wait till another 3DS come in. And uh, so I can finish the uh, Flip Note Studio thing. And it turned out uh, horrible. It's just like horrible, you know? Like, so everything is out of place. I was just rushing. I spent it all day and all night and putting the hours to uh, fix my animations and stuff. But it still turned out um, ugly. Well, it, it was my first try doing animation though. But I have I had six months to put it something together. Actually, I think I have more than that. You know, um, actually, um, let's see. I think I had six months to put everything together. Six or seven months to put everything together. And everything was going fine until my 3DS was sold. And, um, you know, I had to start all the way over. And when I got my 3DS back, it finally, um, well, let's just say I did manage to put something together, but it turned out horrible. You know, I said that already, though, but you guys have to see it in order to believe me, like how horrible it is. And I did all the voice acting myself. I did. I think I did a pretty good job of doing the voice acting, but it's just that the animation just does look. Uh, you know, it doesn't even look 60 frames. I'll just tell you that. It looks so bad. It doesn't look... It's just stupid, guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's funny because I'm being so hard on myself. Because I know I can do better. Because, um... You know... I've been drawing all my life. I stopped for a while, though. I just took a break from drawing. And... You know, but you know, because um, things are, um, are um, happening now. Like, I just got bored with. To be honest, I got bored with drawing sometimes, and I just don't have time for it. You know, but one day I like to get back to drawing. Actually, also I got uh, my pen, my drawing tablet, and my pen um, ran out of batteries and. I don't have a charger for them, I think. And also, actually, it was last year. That's why I stopped drawing. And yeah, I think because not that I didn't have time, because I couldn't figure out how to uh, color anymore. Like you know, like the amazing drawings you see of Zelda and uh, Link and Mario and stuff, like. You see fans drawing their um drawing the characters. It just all oh, theirs look amazing and mine look like crap. <laughs> but let me just concentrate and get this. Okay, that was easy. And you know guys, like I said. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, just wait till this thing goes by. Anyway, like I was saying, um, you have to see it in order to, um, to see how bad it looks like. So my my drawing um, doesn't suck that much. I can draw the characters just fine. It's just that coloring and um, doing the animations and stuff kind of looks just silly. Oh, so we're fighting Pom Pom again. Okay, we can get some easy one-ups from her. Oh, I didn't mean to jump straight in that. Let me just take out Tanuki. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll hold my breath down. I didn't want to get hit. Okay, just do like this. Until she comes out of her shell again. There we go. Ooh, she fell in the fire. I guess she's dead now. 
I don't know why I'm laughing though, because it's not really funny. But it's I don't know. It's because I said that, you know. It's just stupid, guys. But um, that's it for our World Six, I guess. World Six Dash Airship. And I forgot to say the um, what world I'm in. To be honest, like say the other worlds. But um, like World Five, World Six Dash Five, and everything. But I forgot to say that because YouTube al algorithm picked that up and they helped promote my videos. But now that I didn't say that, I don't think he's going to promote the videos all the way. But anyway, who cares about that? We actually finished World 6 Dash Airship. And now we're going on to the next world. But before we do that, guys, please hit that like button and comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos about Mario games and other games like, you know, Nintendo games, of course. And I do also do PlayStation games and um, PC games too. And, you know, I try to upload them weekly. If not, I try to upload every two weeks. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by and have a nice one.